back on this perfect cool afternoon at the U.S. Open National Tennis Center site for the upcoming Women's Championship match. And here they are, Steffi Graf, who will be playing in her 21st Grand Slam final five times here at the U.S. Open, twice a winner going for her third. Helena Sukova, she has played in four Grand Slam finals, yet to win one back here in 1986. She was in the U.S. Open final. So Steffi and Helena will begin their warm-ups, and yesterday, uh, Steffi Graf had a bit of a bad patch when she came out to play the number 11 seed Manuela Maleva Franier. In fact, uh, the patch lasted through the first set, where the retiring, literally, Manuela Maleva Franier, who says this is enough tennis for her at the end of this year, she will concentrate on other things in her life, including beginning a family, and she won the first set 6-4. Steffi Graf did not like her own play in that first set, and she took it out on Manuela, who had never beaten Steffi throughout their career, matches against each other, and so Graf punished her 6-1 and 6-love in the third set to advance to the championship against Kalina Sukova here this afternoon. Drop in fine form once she got it rolling after dropping the first set. And we'll be back with action on the stadium court. Pat Summerall, Tony Traver, and Mary Carrillo after this. It is cool and windy, very windy, in fact, here at the USTA's National Tennis Center. Pat Summerall here with Tony Trabert and Mary Carrillo. And Tony, let's first ask you about Steffi Groff. She, we have said, uh, was dissatisfied with her play yesterday, particularly early. Do you think that's true? Well, she came out and made four unforced errors in the first game on her serve and lost it at love, and she ended up losing the set 6-4. We've said from the start of this tournament, Pat, that this is this is her tournament to lose. She, she's got to lose it. No one's good enough to beat her with the absence of Monica Sellis. She's going for her third U.S. Open title. She's been in the finals five times. Uh, she's the class of, of the women's tennis right here without Sellis involved. And uh, it is windy, which can affect her because she sort of takes some late preparation, on particular on her forehand. These, this is the 21st time these two have met. Uh, Sukova won the first match they played back in 1983, and she hasn't won one since. And I don't think she's going to do it today. Do you think there's danger in the knowledge that, uh, just what you pointed out, that uh, there is no one here who's capable of beating me if I play my best? Uh, I think uh, Steffi's a type that will prepare for that, Pat. She, mm -hmm. She's a real professional. Uh, she prepares exceedingly well, and she's not going to take uh, Sukova lightly by any means. Mary, no question, but that Sukova... Well, let's go back uh, and see what Steffi Graf Two and minutes. how she got here. Well, the only the only set she lost was the Sabatini in the quarters, and then one in the semis to Franier. Uh, she really waltzed through, and the, the withdrawal uh, by Judith Wiesner uh, just made it easier for her. So she hadn't been pressed that much. Mary, what about Helena Sukova? A lot of tennis to get here. She's played already. She's playing very well. That's obvious. She wouldn't be this far. And she's a veteran, 28 years old. She's played one more more, one more match than Groff because Groff mm -hmm. had a walkover from Judith Wiesner. Suka's had a terrific tournament. There's just no two ways about it. As we've as we've said, she's still involved uh, in the in the doubles as well with Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. She's here in the singles final. She already took the mixed doubles title with Todd Woodbridge of Australia. She's had a couple of terrific wins. As you can see, it, she's been out there a while. She's played an awful lot of tennis, had to go three sets in the first and third rounds. She beat Martina Navratilova in straight, served and volleyed her way past the master of such tennis, and then around, against Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. I mean, she one, took one, her one, down in, in three sets. She's going to serve and volley. I mean, in the main, that's what she'll try to do against Steffi Groff. That's what she does so yeah. well. She'll try to take it to the net. The only problem is against this woman, Steffi Graf has got a ter tremendous return game, <laughs> and uh, her return to serve can, can thwart even the best serving volleyers. Steffi Graf also likes targets, and at 6-2, Helena Sokova is a big target, so she'll be coming coming in. I mean, the absolute key to the match, is, of course, is Sukova's serve. Well, Tony alluded to this earlier, but we asked Steffi if her year has been tarnished by the absence of Monica Sellis. The spinal will be the best... 
I look at it a very good year. I mean, I played very solid. I, I won the matches that I really had to win, and and even I came back from a few a few matches that I, I almost lost already. So I think I've had a great steady year. But it's difficult to really say, looking back a couple of years, that is a great year because really Monica has has been missing. Time. Time. Well, they're just about set to get underway. She did have some great comebacks. In the absence of Monica Seles, Steffi Graf has won the last Grand Slams, two Grand Slams. Against Mary Jo Fernandez, she was down 4-2 in the third and came back. Against Jana Novotna, she was five points from losing the Wimbledon title, and she came back against that as well. Chair umpire, Sandy French from Oakland, Seat, California. Asking or requesting that the crowd gets settled into their seats that'll take a moment please take your seats quiet please Steffi Groff to serve Groff to serve play High toss has to be affected by the wind. 15 level. Not necessarily the ground strokes, however. The ball that's not struck as hard will be blown around more. Oh. The Groff forehand will stay on line. <laughs> <laughs> both, both players have strokes hard enough to cut through the wind. Groff oh, has played only about six hours of tennis. Suga has played one more match, and she's played over 11 hours. And with the mixed and the other double, she's got a lot of tennis in there. Day three of the tournament. 120 degrees on the court today, 63. And with the wind as it is, it feels cooler. It is uh, chilly in the booth, <laughs> Trayvon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, it's been blowing up here all the time. And it, it, it's, it's, it's cold, period. I like your gown. <laughs> I hope you like the color. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it. Mary's tough. We're blocking off the wind. <laughs> oh. A couple of winners already off the Groff racket and one double fault. Typical Groff. Oh. Two double faults. 40, She's a high-risk player, Steffi Groff, more so than this woman, Sukova. attacking Jesus. tennis by Sukova. She's very comfortable with the net. That, that volley had a lot of pace on it. Six feet two, good reach. Red. First serve. First serve. Now there was a serve hit at 70 miles an hour, which is slow, but with the wind it had more effect than that hard one just cutting right through it. Oh! Game, Game to grab. Game to grab. First set. Oh! The 
women's finals of the U.S. Open of 1993. Graf and Sukova. A lot of whistles, some unhappiness. Well, Sukova thought her approach was good. She's not basically a moaner and griper, so when they do that, you think maybe there's something to it. Steffi got off to a slow start yesterday, but today the guns are working. Yari Yurik, Sukova's coach. has only been serving at about 50% for the whole tournament. That's not good news. Against Roth. Nice topspin backhand from Steffi. When she's... Sukuba doesn't like the call here. And she thinks this, this shot from Groff was out. I didn't see it that way at all. And Groff, when she has to, you'll see she'll, she'll roll over that backhand side when she's attacked at the net. Though she still favors her slice. Now Sukova thinks in, the, in her first service game she's gotten hooked on two calls. Mentally, that's not a good way to start a match, is it? Sort no. of disruptive. She's trying to get her composure. Game to Groff. And she leads two games to love. First set of this championship. Said it's a, an overwhelmingly good head-to-head -head for Steffi Groff. Ten years since she's lost to Sukova. As the Aussies would say, it's been a long time between drinks. <laughs> Might. <laughs> Might. <laughs> Still in my Aussie mode after that Wally Masur semi. And Steffi, of course, was only 14 when she lost that match. Turned pro at 13, Steffi. Well done. Good anticipation by Sukova. Love 15. This next one, I sure anticipate nice and close to the net. Good volley. Whoa! Left letter 30. Heidi Groff, Steffi's mother. Virginia Wade, champion here, the first Open in 1968, defeated Billie Jean King in the finals. Still looks pretty fit 25 years later. She does. Former colleague of ours.
30-40. Sukov at the net, forced to make a short volley, and then gets passed. I like her game plan. I think she's going to have to get to the net every chance she can. U.S. Open after this word from your local station. Drop leads to one. Championship of 93. Yeah. Sukova. <laughs> Steffi leads two games to one. Sukova broke her off and that was lucky in the last game. In her first service game, she didn't get one first serve in. Not a great idea against Croft. Fifteen all. Especially because coming into this championship round, Steffi Groff has broken her opponent's serve 67% of the time, which means she can basically give her opponent every serve, let them serve every game and still win three and three. A lot of topspin off the backhand side of Steffi Groff. The much maligned Groff backhand is, in fact, very solid. Her slice backhand works particularly well at Wimbledon on the grass, where it just doesn't come up at all. But when she is attacked from the net, she'll roll over it. And she's done it time and again already in this match. Tracy Austin, a two-time winner of this great championship at age 16 and 18. This with a little wrist flick, the only way you can get that ball back cross court from that far out of position. Steffi Groff was asked what she thought of all the complaining that so many of the players have done at this U.S. Open about the locker rooms and the, the noise and, and everything else. And she wasn't going to have any of it. She said, I've played no. this room for 10 years. I know what it's like. <laughs> you, you, just, you do your work, you train, you play your matches, and you get out. Love 30. Love 30, they've been complaining. Complaints about the food, the distance from the locker room. A guy, a friend of mine had a, had a, you know, there's a season earnings. A friend of mine had an idea. He said, let them pay for their own food. They can eat where they want. Groff likes New York an awful lot anyway. She's got a, a terrific place here that, that she's bought down in Soho. Really cool part of New York City, and uh, she's just starting to furnish it now. Cool today, I'll guarantee you. From Love 30, back in. Long. Not too many long points, but she's involved. Either player. Forty 
Justice. The great Maria Bueno. Oh, she was graceful. Mm. Terrific flair. That one called out. Groff was ready to concede the point. She's still shaking her head over it. Watch what Groff does. Groff, Groff thinks it's in. So do a lot of the fans. She was ready to turn around and switch ends. Close calls. None of them has gone Sukova's way so far. Groff. Game to Steffi, 4-1. Right, look at this, Steffi still wants to give up. Game underway in the women's finals championship. Groff leading 4-1, Sukova serving. 30 love. Another big toss from backhand. Forces an error from Sukova. 40 love lead has now shrunk. Still game point though. And another big one. It must be fun. <laughs> How many years have we been talking about Graf learning to top the backhand? Watch this one. Making that ball dip, good angle. Oh. Advantage, Sukuma. Yeah. Bad luck for Sukuma. Passing shot ticks the top of the net. Sukova was there. Not sure how, what she would have done with it, but she'd have gotten a racket on it. Deuce. Oh! Advantage. See, Groff, Panamami get over the ball in the backhand. Keep topping it. She sliced the backhand return. That ball stays up. The eyes of the world are on these two women. There's another one. A combination of adding that topspin backhand and her being more aggressive going to the net. Both have been terrific additions for her. Her own 
only ace that came Drop on a second serve. Overhead, the Fuji blimp. 14 people can sit in that gondola. The rest of it, the big part, would hold 42 million tennis balls. How's that? 15. 4-2 Graf. 15 love. Oh. Very difficult approach from Sukova. Groff not quite in time to get over that, that backhand. Fifteen thirty. Heinz Gunthardt has been with Steffi Groff for years now. <laughs> Former Swiss player on the men's tour, a fine doubles player. That's a fine shot. A little topspin backhand of her own. Once the ball hit the net, it just sat up and landed short. It was a pretty much of a sitter. She took her time. Break point. Thirty, forty, forty. Prof already broken once. Deuce. Deuce. Staves off two there. keep slipping away. You don't get all those opportunities. We saw so much of that with Arantxa Sanchez in the semis yesterday. That, that semi-final, there were so many opportunities from both players. Finally decided by Sukova. Played a pretty good third set. Oh, that's a remarkable... <laughs> Can't do that. Sukova had come in behind a terrific shot. And this is what you have to do. You have to try to rob Groff of time because her preparation is late. She tends to take shots off her hip anyway. And she still was able to come around that with enough racket speed to punish it away for a winner. Groff was surprised herself, though. She sort of had a little smirk on her face. Five-two Groff first set. at the U.S. Open Stadium Court. Women's Final Championship. 15 love. <laughs> Sukova serving at 2-5. We're in the first sets. 15 love. 30 love. Busiest woman in show business here at the Open. 
<laughs> She's entered everything and, is, and has done very well in each event. Last time anyone won a triple round here was back in 1987 when Martina Navratilova did it, won singles, doubles, and mixed. Suba took Martina out of the two events she entered here. Beat her in the singles and beat her in the mixed doubles final. 30 all. Other women who have done it, Louise Bruff, Margaret Osmond Dupont, Billie Jean King, Margaret Smith Court. Pretty, pretty good names. 40, 40 or 30. Sukova drop leads 5-3. Brock tried to approach, but it wasn't behind much. Sukova wasn't even strained to hit this backhand. She had plenty of time to set that up. But that's why I feel Groff should come in more. Not because her volleying is so skilled, but that her approach shots are so good. I mean, she gives herself so many chances to win from the net. As she just did there, and her approach was good enough to win the point. She should be a one volley type player. That stayed in. Rock is so quick that sometimes volleyers overplay their, their shots. Rock way out of position though. Sukova still cut it very fine. I don't think he's trying to play it that close. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's such a great idea in this win. Watch how fast Groff is even to get there and get a racket on it, though she couldn't control it. Yeah. Break point again. Get it back on serve. Approach shot didn't have much pace on it. No, more of a block. Yeah, when you give an, an opponent too many options when you're coming to net, they can usually pick a good one. You have to hit a shot that takes some of their options away. wasn't good enough either. Again, you cannot bluff this woman. If you're going to come in, you better be yeah, coming in behind something good. This shot was so good. Watch that Helena Sukova doesn't even make a move with her racket. She can't even begin to defend the net. 
set point. One of seven in breakpoint chances is Helena Sukova, including chances in this game. That was a better one. It wasn't struck terribly deep, but Sukova carved into that ball and it stayed nice and low. Much lower. And this, this court surface will take spin very well. Most people wouldn't even gotten to that ball, much less be able to hit it at that kind of an angle cross court, rack it back a little earlier than she normally does, and she had to do that. Skipped off the paint, too, that Sukova shot. Groff had to make a quick little adjustment there and still did it. What a set point. First set to Groff, 6-3. Women's Championship, Sukova serving now to begin the second set. Steffi Graf won the first set, six games to three. Love, love, team. You know, as for as, as blustery a day as a day as it is, we had very few overheads missed. I think Pioline missed two, if I can recall, but done awfully well. Oh, man. Talk about good court coverage. Watch how quickly Groff recovers. She got a little bit of a head start. Didn't have to hit that ball that hard, just directed it well. There are two ways to beat Steffi Groff, and they're both very hard to do. You can try and serve volleyer, rusher from the net. As Sukova is trying to do, as Jana Novotna very nearly did at Wimbledon, as Martina Navratilova has done in the past. You have to rob her of time, or you can rob her of time from the baseline, as Monica Sellis is able to do. Later today, the five greatest points in U.S. Open history, and of course, still to come, Sampras against Volkov, the men's other semifinal. What would you think would be the five greatest points? Do you have any idea, Tony? I think one of them was uh, Connors after long point hit a ball outside the net post. I think it was against Panada or something. I guess that'd be one of them. I would think so. Oh! Game first game. Game Steffi. First game, second set. Most of the interest is centered around the stadium court. At the moment, at least. Steffi Groff has won the first set. 15 love. And leads one love in the <laughs> second set. She's moving beautifully and she's striking the ball very, very well, too. Playing at her pace, which is quickly. Steffi, the number one seed number one player in the world and after this US Open you can see that Monica Sellis the defending champion here loses an awful lot of points on the ranking computer she goes down to fourth Arantxa Sanchez Vicario will be two for the first time in her career Martina Navratilova moves up to three now Monica cannot drop any further even if she doesn't play another match in 1993 she won't drop out of the top ten and she is fully expected to defend her Australian Open title in January that's good news Game, 
Well, we have time right here. Let's go down to Pat O'Brien. All right, Pat, thank you. With one of the greats, Tracy Austin, who's covered up with a sweatshirt and a towel, and cold here in the corner. Uh, what's the story as you see it? Well, I think Kalena was trying to do the right things in the first set, coming to the net. She really can't hang from the backcourt with Steffi, so she was coming in, trying to come in deep to the backhand or deep to the middle so to cut Steffi's angles off. And really, it was just a question of execution, and she had three break points, uh, one in each of Steffi's last three games in the first set, and just didn't get those. One, she hit a lob out by a couple of inches, and that's all it takes is just one break opportunity miss like that when you're playing against a serving volleyer. What kind of confidence does Steffi come in with? You know, you talk to the Michael Jordans of the world and they know they can beat anybody on any given day. Uh, does Steffi have that feeling out here? I really think she does. I mean, she's been dominating ever since Monica's uh, been gone. And I think she goes into every match now thinking that even if she's a set down, she's going to come up the win with the win. She knows that, uh, you know, she's eked out a few toughies this year with Novotin in the finals of Wimbledon down 4-1. And she has that confidence and she's back to dominating like she did in 88. For Helena to win? For, to, for Helena to win, she's really going to have to start to play a lot better. You know, now is the key point because when Steffi starts to get on a roll, she gets even more tough. And Helena seems to be pushing too much, you know, making easy airs, trying too hard to, to execute. So, you know, there's a fine line and that fine balance of being aggressive but without the airs. And, and that's, that's the tough part. But she has to play, obviously, at her best tennis to come up with a win. Congratulations on your marriage. And thank you. Thank you. Upstairs. Sukuba to the net. Tracy Austin is exactly right. Of course, here's Scott Holt. Her Gordon, husband, they were married just a couple of months ago. They're a nice couple. And uh, as Tracy said, Steffi Groff has now won 20 Grand Slam matches since uh, Monica Sells is absent. She won the French, she won Wimbledon. She's one match away from doing it here. She hasn't, in fact, lost a tour match since Sells has been gone from the tour. Game to Sukova. Two on, and we'll be back at the U.S. Open after this word from your local station. Roughly, it's two on. Two on. CBS Sports coverage of the United States Open Tennis Championships is sponsored by Anderson Consulting, helping organizations apply information technology. Mitsubishi, the new thinking in automobiles. And by Nice and Easy. It's nice and easy to be natural. Only from Clairol. Steffi Graf serving. She has won the first set of this women's championship 6-3 and leads 2-1 in this second. Serving in love 15. College football, Notre Dame by 10 over Michigan, Florida State 57 to nothing, Vanderbilt up, Alabama, Alabama was up, I'm sorry, 17-6. Was her third double fault? Oh. 
Game to Groff. She's up a set and leads 3-1 in the second. Steffi moving up that chart. That's a lot of Grand Slam singles titles, huh? Let's say. A lot of great names on that list. Indeed. It's like a walk down memory lane, history lane of the game. Steffi's mom looks pretty relaxed. Helena Sukova's mother, Vera. There's Elke Summer. Doesn't feel like summer, but there it is right there. Vera Sukova is, uh, is no longer alive, but she... Helena's mother was a great champion in her own right and then became a terrific coach. A Wimbledon finalist back in 1962 and coached her kid, her two kids, yeah. Cyril Suk. Her sir. Her sir. Is Helena's younger brother, who's a very fine doubles player. And she spent some time coaching Martina Navratilova as well. Worked with all the young Czech players for a time. Fifteen forty. Two big break points here. This is the match, don't you feel, Tony? Well, pretty much so. If, if Groff uh, gets this break and has two breaks, uh, Suk has been able to break her only once. She's a pretty good front runner, Steffi Groff. <laughs> a cushion break should be just about all she needs. She just shifts into another gear. 30-40. Second set. Pat Summerall with Mary Carrillo and Tony Trabert on the stadium court, the women's championship. Groff and Sukova. Groff in charge. She's got to do. Well, the difference at that point is she swung at the ball and hit it with some pace where she'd been pushing it. See, this one's got some depth and some pace, so Groff doesn't have as much time to set up and do what she wants to do with it. Sukov has been up on Groff serve so many times in this match, but has only been able to break her once. approach shot instead of just chipping it and charging and hope your opponent panics and misses it you help create the miss with the pace and the depth Thank you. 
Thank you. Sukuna. Fourth double fault by Steffi Graf. Steffi still leads 4-2. That's why that extra break is so valuable. Mm -hmm. You can just can't get enough of them. Love it's a bit of a dilemma on a windy day like this because you say, I don't want to give up my first serve, my weapon. On the other hand, I don't want to have to worry about getting a lot of second serves in. First serve. Coming up later, the five greatest points in U.S. Open history, and of course the men's semifinal, Volkov and Sampras. 30, 30. Is it true that you were the one that selected those five greatest points? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine what a task that would be? I did narrate it, but I didn't pick them. Did you agree with them when you narrated them? They're pretty good. When I narrated them, I did, yeah. Oh! 30 on. Croft wants it right here. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the pressure on. Today in the other men's semifinal, Frenchman Pauline 40, 30. defeated Wally Masur. He'll play the winner of Sampras Volkov tomorrow afternoon here on CBS. And he won Sampras. Game to Sukova. Missed the first point. Love 15. Groff missed it at the net. Yeah. Good playing by Sukova. Yeah, it was not an easy ball to try to volley by any means. Elena made a terrific backhand. Love 15 oh. then. Pressing a little bit. Yeah. She's trying to be assertive. You know, she's trying to stay as uh, as aggressive as possible, but she's missing now. You got to be a little patient in the process. When you hit it that hard and you hit it well, you say that's terrific. When when they miss them, you say she's impatient. Suga has won 10 of the last 12 points. She's been largely helped by her opponent. That had to feel pretty good. That was a very high lob. She wisely let it bounce, sets up well. It's like, kind of like an ace from the baseline. <laughs> you got the whole court hit into it, not just the service box. That helps you some. Oh! 30 all. 30 all. Ralph won the first set, 6 3. He leads 4 3 in this set.
Steffi's ready to leave the party, she Bradley, let you know. Five, three. <laughs> Love. The only loss she's had in 1993 in a Grand Slam event was the Australian Open final, a three-setter against Monica Sellis. Monica won her third straight Australian this year. So final score, Michigan ranked number three, lost to Notre Dame. All. Another roll backhand from Groff, a slice to set it up, and El Cabong, 15 all. <laughs> that one intercepted. 30-15. Oh. This backhand had a little bit more lift to it, and Sukova was able to handle it. Headed down to courtside for the presentation. He might have a little weight. The championship presentation. got in trouble with this one. It sat up and gave Groff plenty of time. Sukova goes to defend and isn't able to control the speed. Advantage Groff. Hurry, Tony. Her, her good friend Renee Stubbs, Steffi Groff's third U.S. Open, her 14th Grand Slam singles title. What a year. She, An emphatic win, wasn't it? Really. <laughs> From the beginning, she took charge. Steffi headed over to say... Thank you. And thank you. Now let's go down to Tim Ryan. Thank you, Pat. Congratulations are added uh, from the U.S. Open studio to the women's champion Steffi Groff. First victory here since 1989, her third U.S. championship. And she was clearly the best player in the draw, not just in terms of the results, but in terms of performance. She was brilliant. Still to come, we'll be going back uh, down to courtside for the official presentation of the Women's Championship title and trophy. And also coming up, uh, this is called a VCR alert, and it's a good idea. Get those ready to go because we're going to bring you the five greatest points in our judgment in the history of the U.S. Open. And that should be exciting stuff for you to have on your reel at home. And we'll be back here trying to keep you real at home in just a moment.
Steffi Graf over Helena Sukova, 6-3 and 6-3. Still to come, the second men's semifinal, Pete Sampras and Alexander Volkov. And now for the championship presentation. Let's go down to courtside and Tony Trabert. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how about a great hand for two wonderful champions? It's my pleasure to now introduce the president of the United States Tennis Association, Mr. Bumpy Fraser, also the chairman of the U.S. Open. Bumpy. Thank you very much, Tony. I first want to recognize the chair umpire for today's championship match, Sandy French of Oakland, California. Sandy. The United States Tennis Association is very proud to be celebrating the 25th anniversary of the U.S. Open. This tournament has grown into such a great event thanks to fans like all of you here today, thanks to our sponsors, and thanks to the great players over the years, such as our former national champion, Tony Trabert. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Steve Sadov, president of Clairol, sponsor of the U.S. Open Women's Singles Championship, who will present the check to this year's runner-up, Steve Sadov. Steffi, Helena, you both played a terrific match, terrific tournament, and Clairol is proud to have been a part of it. Helena, on behalf of Clairol, I'd like to present you with a check for $267,500. Elena, first of all, congratulations on a wonderful tournament. You're the runner-up this year. I know you're a little disappointed about that. You're the mixed doubles champion. You're still in the ladies' doubles, the women's doubles. You've got a lot of work left to do. Yeah, I hope we do better in doubles than I did in singles today. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, you certainly have had a wonderful tournament. You, you just played a player that played awfully well today. Yeah, I, I would like to thank, first of all, my coach, Yara, because yeah, I think he helped me a lot to get to the finals, so I'm very happy, and I would like to thank him very much. And uh, I also would like to like thank all of you uh, for coming out here the whole two weeks and supporting all of us, so thank you very much. And definitely I would like to be back next year and do a little, one more step than I did this year. Thank you. Well done, Helene, and congratulations. Good luck in your doubles. And now Steve Sadoff, president of Clairol, will present the winner's check. Steffi, that really was fantastic. On behalf of Clairol, who has sponsored the women's singles for the past 19 years, it's my pleasure to present you with the winner's check for $535,000. Steffi, congratulations uh, on, a, on a wonderful tournament. Uh, how do you feel you played today? Well, I thought I really played a good match. I mean, Helena had such a great tournament, and even today she played a, a strong match. But I was able to to just play a little better. <laughs> well, you won the Grand Slam in 1988. You missed it by one match this year by losing in the finals the Australian. And then you came back and won the French Wimbledon the United States Championships. You should be very proud. Like you said, I had an incredible year, so I'm, I'm very happy about it. But um, I do know that some, there's one player who hasn't been around the last three Grand Slams, and um, 
That's Monica, and I just hope she'll be soon back. Nicely done. The great champion is Steffi Graf. Bumpy, I think you now have a trophy to present. Celebrating 25 years of the U.S. Open on behalf of the United States Tennis Association, it's my great pleasure to present the Women's Singles Championship Trophy to the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Steffi Groff. The U.S. Open Women's Singles Champion 1993, Steffi Groff. Steffi Graf with her third Grand Slam title this year, having won the French and Wimbledon. She is now the United States Open Women's Champion. We'll return to the U.S. Open in a moment. <laughs>